Lawrence. I don't know if you had any communication with him. Just what's your feeling about it, and, and what do you want to see happen in the future? Oh man, that's my brother. Um, so our captain, I mean, we just made the best decision for him, and I'm, I'm proud of him, proud of him for making it. I know it's definitely not easy, but uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna be selfish in the way in this moment. But that's still our brother. That's still our captain. Yeah. So. And when you're a captain, that that probably he probably agonized over that a little bit. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know that decision definitely wasn't easy, but uh, I, I try to get in his ear just to just to make the best decision for him. If it was uh, coming back, he came back. If, if he didn't, he didn't. But at the end of the day, he had to make the best decision for him, and I'm happy for him. Jordan, how did you guys find out? Um, just talking, just talking to uh, amongst each other. Yeah. Was it? Getting some resolution, knowing that he's not coming back, is there any part of that that can be a good thing? That, hey, he's not going to come help us. we got to figure this out now. Um, well, we, we were just focused on week to week. We weren't thinking uh, long term because uh, we didn't have Nick for these past few weeks. So right. uh, we knew that, and we were just focused focused on who was in the game. Right. Right? So, so not much changes. Has the coaching staff relayed anything to you guys about it? Has there been any team-wide discussion, or has it just been this person-to-person -person discussion that you talked about earlier? I say more person-to-person. -person. Yeah. Did it come as a surprise? Um. I mean, seriously. I just knew uh, he had to make a decision for him. And, uh, yeah, obviously he has a he has a lot a lot of football left in his career and. Uh, so yeah, he, he made the best decision for him. And I'm happy for him. I sent him a text earlier today too. Jordan, are you seeing Isaiah starting to turn a little bit of a corner? He mentioned on Saturday that it kind of helped a little bit with confidence and he's maybe starting to see things slow down a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you just really you just need games under your under your belt at this level just to feel real comfortable. But uh, yeah, I was trying to tell y'all he's he's real talented. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he just he just needs to put it all together and, and you can see it happening. What do you see continuing at that position? Obviously, Sean's gotten some <clears throat> weight, gotten some play there back there with you too. I mean, do you, do you see them continuing to kind of roll some guys in there just to kind of get a little chemistry going? Um, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, we don't control any of that. But uh, yeah, wh whoever's next to me, I'm, I'm confident. In. Yeah. How is Sean? How have you felt with Sean in there at that spot? Oh man, just uh, I don't know when he switched to safety, but he's he's learned so fast. Uh, He's a natural. He's he's one of the best athletes on the team. So uh, so yeah, he's he just progressed really nicely. You made that same move. How long did it take you like, to to feel like a safety? Um, well, I I never actually played like full black corner here. So like I came in the summer and then we were doing like team runs. I was at corner, but I never really actually had game reps at corner. So I mean, I basically felt like a safety the whole time. Jordan, when you, you look, look at these guys, when you could look at these guys on video. They're going to come after you. I'm talking about Purdue. Mm -hmm. Throwing the ball. They're looking for big plays, all big play hunting. That's been kind of one of y'all's problems this year is mm -hmm. giving up the big play and stuff. But just, I don't know, when you look at them on video, what stands out to you about them? How potent they are offensively? I mean, they got, uh, they just have so many ways they can attack you. Obviously, uh, number four is a, a guy we got to uh, look out for at all times. But, uh, but yeah, they, they definitely have, they have, like, I think, Two tight ends that can catch the ball too. They're, all their receivers are good. Their quarterback's a, a senior. Um, God, they got some experience. So, uh, and their offense is just putting up like 500 yards a game or something like that. Yeah. Is so, this yeah. a is this a dangerous night game on the road? They're starting to you know come up a little bit. Uh, is everybody sort of we're not yeah. going to go in there half stepping? Oh yeah, we we know it's a it's a big challenge. Um, yeah, night game, prime time. Uh, I guess the team is. A lot of, a lot of so it's a big challenge. You brought Rondell Moore a second ago, but what is that? What when you watch him on video? What is he? He reminds you of anybody? I'm talking about that little guy, you know that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but he's he's a good player. His uh his change of direction is really good. He's his top end speed is really good too. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we, we definitely gotta keep him in our sights all the time. So is I mean it's. It, it, like you said, I mean, he's a guy you have to like know where he is all the time on the field, things like that. I mean, how do you approach, a, I guess, playing a guy like that? You guys are big on man-to-man, -man, you know, pressure type of defense, pressing yeah. defense. But how, how do you approach a young guy like that? Mm -hmm. Just trust your techniques and trust the uh, 
defenses that we're in and the coaches call. So, yeah, Jordan, there's been a lot of discussion over the past few weeks about how the challenge is posed by as many players as you have injured on defense during games. Mm -hmm. What impact does it have during practice? Are these guys that would be taking a break anyway with that Ryan Thanks, Shazier Jordan. rule that you have? Or has practice been kind of interesting with all these guys bruised and banged up, not being able yeah. to participate as much? Um, we definitely has had some changes with just the amount of reps we've, we've had to take and stuff like that, uh, certain guys. But, um, but yeah, we're just trying to get better every day. You were bruised a little bit earlier this year. How are you feeling now? I feel good. I'm good. You're like the only one. <laughs> How concerned are you guys with trick plays this week? Have you had to talk about that yet? Oh yeah, um, we know we, we we see them a lot, obviously. So uh, so yes, yeah, it's, it's all about just doing your job and keeping your eyes in the right spot. You know, it's definitely been an emphasis. How difficult is that when you guys are a man coverage team? And how difficult is it to keep your eyes from drifting and getting like played by one of those? Well, it was really hard, especially when. Obviously, they fake block. You don't think he's going to run a route. But, uh, but yeah, you just got to keep your eyes in the right spot and stay disciplined. You don't get nosy or anything like that. So that's what helps. Help us understand. Why do you Last think question, Nick is doing the right thing in this case? Um, I mean, when you talk about generational wealth, being the top draft pick, um, I mean, anything you could do to keep that solidified, I think uh, you got to take care of. So, uh so yeah, I, th I think he made the best decision for him. Um, I don't know exactly what his doctor said and, and all that, but uh, obviously he took he took all that into account and, and made a great decision. Jordan, thank, thank you. Jordan.